to do a quick land feature. We're going to do the lake that's in the park here. And what we did was when we originally put this piece of wood down, we drew out where we want the lake. And then we took a router and we routed down into here. And the reason we used the router was so that obviously we could get it down maybe about a quarter of an inch. But we also just left the bottom surface really rough. So if we want to do water here, we need something to pour the water into. We're going to use Woodland Scenics acrylic uh, water. So I take a piece, this is how I do it. I take a piece of aluminum foil. I make sure it's all crunched up so that you get some texture. And then I take this piece of foil and I put it down into the lake area and I just go around the edges and burnish the foil into the edges. So you can see the shape of the lake taking form. Then what I'll do is I'll take this off and I'll see where my shape is. And I have one here that I already cut out and I'll cut it out to size shape and then I'll lay it down in here and then what I'm going to do is take some glue some super glue just go around the edges and glue this piece down and we'll go from there so I'm going to take some super glue this is Zappa Gap and I'm going to pour the glue or, or place it right around the edges of the foil here and glue the foil down to the wood I don't expect you to watch me do this whole thing, but that's the second step will be to glue this foil in here. So what do we use to create water? We're going to use Woodland Scenics Realistic Water. This is an acrylic product. It goes on in light layers, and they make dyes or, or tints for it, and this is a turquoise tint. So we're going to use, and this stuff, just a little tiny bit goes a long way, and you'll see it'll create um, a translucent type water, and we'll pour it into the lake and see how it looks. All right, we're going to pour some of this realistic water. I use these little mixing cups that we get here at AAA Hobbies in Magnolia, New Jersey. And I'm going to pour off a cup full. And it looks kind of cloudy now, but it dries clear like water. And this is the tint, and this tint goes a really long way. You only need a teeny tiny bit, especially for this little bit. So I put some out on my palette here, and they just take a little tiny, you see, you can hardly even see it. And I'm going to mix it in here. You can kind of see the color turning. A little more. This should do it. Let me do a little bit more. It's making a liar out of me. It's easy to overdo this. That's why I'm being careful with it. It takes a little practice, it takes a little effort, but you'll get the feel. And you can see I got a nice tint here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour one level and then maybe one or two more. I'm not going to do the whole thing at once. That way I can level the colors too. So we'll go over to the layout. I'll take this guy and I'm just going to pour him right into the lake area. I think what I'll do is mix just a little bit more. Some blue in there. Finish that off. So what we're gonna do is just let this sit. So we'll try and get it up to the edge. 
So this is gonna have to sit for a few days and get hard and solid and clear. Maybe by tomorrow it may be good, but we'll take a look at it later. So we are at the point where we have the first layer of water in the lake. And if you look at it, it dried. And it takes a few days for this stuff to dry solid. Um, it has conformed down on top of the foil, which is what I wanted it to do. So you're starting to see the ripples on top. So we're going to build up one or two more layers to smooth that over and get it darker. And I'm going to use some navy blue dye or, or color in the clear. We'll mix that up, come back, and we'll pour a second layer on this. All right, so we're going to mix some more realistic water with Rincinix product. We'll take a little cup full of this. And then we'll take some of this Woodland Scenics water tint and we're going to use the navy blue because I think it needs to be a little bit darker. This stuff goes a long way so we'll take just a drop and throw it in there. I'll mix this up and see what I think. And you watch this, you'll see the, the blue, see it? It's like taking over. Which is good, we want it a little darker. Alrighty, and now we'll walk it over to the layout and we'll pour it. Okay, so just find a nice spot, start to pour it. And that's nice. It's a little bit darker than the last coat. And I'll probably put one or two more coats on and I'll make them progressively darker. And it'll look like a lake. And you can see the reflection now on the, the aluminum on the bottom, but it's not as strong because it's starting to tone down. And we'll take a look at it, you know, next week. Thank you.